Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So some time ago, Kabam said that they were going to be reworking Ebony Maw. Ebony Maw has been the butt of jokes for quite some time and well-deserved. Now, as you can see, there's a level up and mystic advancement going on, but I've already gotten all the milestones for both. So there's no real reason that I need to take up Ebony Maw, except I wanted to. So I had taken Ebony Maw up to rank four because despite his low damage, he's actually really smooth to play. It is actually enjoyable, even though he hits very, very softly. Uh, I like fighting with him. And since this is just a four star, uh, a rank four meant that I would be using him in arena. I do not take any champion up to rank four and above unless I actually want to use them a lot in arena because I will be. Uh, sometimes I don't use my rank fours. Uh, if there is no champion that I want to go for and I'm just doing milestones, I don't use my 440s. But when I'm going for a champion, I use my, my rank fours. So since Kabam said they were going to rework him and we were hoping that this meant he would be viable. And they reworked him. However, he still remains a soft touch. Uh, still not worth ranking up if you want someone who is viable. But I decided to go ahead and take him to rank five because one, I was sick of seeing him at rank four. And two, as I mentioned earlier, I actually do have fun fighting with him in arena. Now, I spend a lot of time in arena. Arena is the most activity uh, or is the one activity that I spend the most time in in this game. So if I like fighting with someone and the fights in the arena are short, then I want to rank them up so that I can use them. I use my champions more than most people use their champions because of arena. All right, so you got a little look at him and we're gonna take him into Realm of Legends. Now, before we head in, I'm gonna show you the team that I went in here with and we're gonna take a look at the, the synergies that are active. So for Ebony Maw, you've got this crit synergy. He's gonna start the fight with a 50% crit rating for 20 seconds. Uh, he's also got Cull. When he charges a heavy attack for 0.5 seconds, he grants the opponent an indefinite Fury buff, increasing their attack rating by zero. Now, why that is important is because Ebony Maw gets some special effects, um, and we'll talk about that more uh, when I do a closer look video on him, uh, when he nullifies buffs. So going against Winter Soldier who doesn't have buffs, this still works because Ebony Maw can place a buff on him that doesn't do anything, but it's still a buff um, and allows Ebony Maw to activate his abilities there. All right. Uh, so those are the only two. And the rest of the team is your basic... Uh, Crit team, so we've got attack, I think it's 6% six percent attack and some crit rating. Um, the Cyclops one gives him more attack. Uh, that mutant, it doesn't matter. And the Wolverine, crit damage and critical rating. All right, don't know if that's the best team for him, but it's the team I decided to go in here with. All right, so what we're going to do first, and what I like to do all the time when I do these types of videos, 
I like to show you the uh, different uh, special attacks. Just get you the animations there. Now, keep in mind, I am running suicides. All right, here's the special one. All right. And I'll work up to a special two. And then a special three. And then I'm going to show you something pretty interesting. All right, so you can see his damage is not really much of anything. But let me tell you, his animations feel so smooth. I love them. All right, so here, let's get to his uh, special two. Here we go. All right. And we'll use that synergy that I mentioned earlier um, after we get to the special three. See him missing? <laughs> but this is this is so smooth. All right, let's build up to the special three. And then I'll show you something cool. But yeah, you can tell. And this is with suicides on. All right. He is taking quite a bit of damage. Although he is just a four star. The special two is going to hurt. However, watch what his special three does. All right. So really cool animation. But look at Winter Soldier's power. Whoop, where did it go? Very nice, right? All right. Now let's go ahead and. Oh, got caught there. Come on. All right, so he has the uh, Fury up. There we go. It got nullified, and you see the deterioration placed on him. All right. He can only do it once, I believe, per fight. All right, now, watch this here. The heavy attack. Look at Winter Soldier's power. All right, he just used that. Look at the heavy attack. See his power? That heavy attack is doing a little power steal. If Ebony Maw had uh, Mystic Dispersion, if I had Mystic Dispersion, he would do a little bit better. And remember what his power, um, his special three does. Okay. So here we go. If I don't want to deal with that special two, fire off my special three. And his power is going to be gone. So Ebony Maw has a little power control. See, he's gaining power when his soldier is, but look at the rate that I'm gaining power, and I don't have Mystic Dispersion on. So look at this. He doesn't even have a bar of power yet. And I am already have over two. So look at this. All right. And then here we go. And if I don't want him to be able to use any of his specials, I just did heavy attacks. And by the time he got to a special one, I was already at my special three, which drains his power. So that is kind of cool. If you ever find yourself fighting with Ebony Maw, but it doesn't make him really viable, but it is something really cool uh, about him. You know, if you wanted to power control them, say their special one was very easy, like Winter Soldiers is, and I didn't want to deal with their special two, because I cannot evade, fully evade his special two. All right, see, I don't mind his special one. So I can do that, evade the special one, and if he decides to be a little bit coy, then I can uh, fire my special three and get him down. All right. Yeah, we're not going <laughs> to get a full kill here, but at least you got to see a little bit about uh, Ebony Maw and, and a little nice mechanic of his. This doesn't make him good. It doesn't make him worthy of a rank up. If you have a five-star Ebony Maw, 
I still say he's not worth taking up past rank three if you are an arena grinder. I don't have him as a five star, but if I do get him, I will take him to rank three just for arena purposes. And as I mentioned, he's fun. He actually is very smooth to play. If in their rework, they had increased his damage significantly, he would actually be worthy of ranking up. But as it stands, he's still a wet noodle. All right, so that's going to do it for the video, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.